Sylvia, you look out of sorts. Is something wrong? I hate school. I'm sorry you're upset, honey. Penny for your thoughts? I'm here to lend an ear if you need one. High school is so tough. All the other kids do better than me. I don't want to cry over spilt milk, but my math grade dropped from an A minus to a B plus last semester. This semester, I had hoped I would do better, but I can't hit the mark. I got a C minus on my last test. To top it all off, I have too many homework assignments and not enough time. Sometimes, when you're having trouble learning, you have to go back to square one. You can't get better in math if you haven't mastered the basics. I already know the basics, Mom. You're just adding fuel to the fire right now. I'm sorry, honey. I know you're upset. Why don't you tell me more about it? I'll try to just listen. Well, there's this girl in my math class, Cassie. She gets an A on everything. She knows the answer to every question. She makes me feel like I'm not good enough. I always have butterflies in my stomach when the teacher asks me a question. I feel like the teacher puts me on the spot. Then, if I get a question wrong, I get made fun of by the other students. Does the teacher know that they do that? I don't think the teacher knows, and I'm not going to tell her. That would just be going out of the frying pan and into the fire. She might stop the other kids from teasing me in class, but they would find other worse ways to pick on me. I'm sorry, honey. You shouldn't listen to their teasing. I know it doesn't feel good, but it's okay to make mistakes. It's part of learning. I hope those kids in your class come to their senses and realize that. My history classes are so stressful too. I'm always on pins and needles waiting to get my tests back. I can't seem to pull myself together. My last history exam, I barely finished in the nick of time. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that I got at least a B minus. I don't know how Nancy always manages to get A plus at history. I would be over the moon if I got her grades. I wish I were as smart as her. Honey, I don't want to beat around the bush, so I'll get straight to the point. It sounds like you're comparing yourself to the other students. If you keep doing that, you'll go out of your mind. In a nutshell, I think you need to focus on doing your own personal best. Well, I just feel like I'm always in the dark about how to do well in my classes. When the teacher gives an assignment, I feel like the ball is in my court. I burn the midnight oil trying to complete the assignment. Thankfully, I'm a night owl, or else I would probably be failing my classes. Somehow, I always seem to run out of time. When I feel that it should be like shooting fish in a barrel. Sometimes you need to ask someone to lend a hand to help you get back on your feet. We can get you a tutor, or you can find a friend to study with. You don't have to figure it out all on your own. And who knows? Maybe the situation is a blessing in disguise. How could my trouble in school be a good thing? It feels like I'm a failure. You're not a failure, honey. You are the apple of my eye, and I'm very proud of you. 
No one expects you to do everything perfectly. You're doing your best. That's all that matters. You work hard and you should feel good about your performance in school. This situation gives you the chance to turn over a new leaf and think differently about yourself. You are smart and you don't need to compare yourself to others. What do you mean? That grades don't define me? Exactly. You hit the nail on the head. You can see that you are worth more than your grades. You can try to stop being so hard on yourself. Thanks, Mom. I'll try to let it go and not worry about it so much. Your support is music to my ears. I'm glad you feel better, honey. I'm here for you and I believe in you.